Good morning, folks. How apropos that during the week we take to spend time with the family, the sun goes crazy. You miss me, big guy. We'll watch the last two and a half days here a couple times, so hopefully you can pick out the eruptive events. I see at least two that should have put a CME in Earth's direction, maybe three. The good news is that even with multiple events incoming, they are all moderate intensity. Even Earth's weakening magnetic field will be able to handle them. They were C-class flares, not M or X-class, and smaller filament eruptions. But still, with both of those events incoming, plus that's an enormous coronal hole, which means we'll also take a coronal hole stream towards the end of the week, we could get strong geomagnetic storms. Now, with that level of storm, we still won't see global grids going down, but we could see significant electrical disruptions and localized or even regional scales. This includes not only grid issues, but aviation problems, telecom, navigation, entertainment like the PlayStation Network. It is quite fitting. We've said for months that the sun should begin producing these eruptions middle of August, and here we are, without doubt the most space weather to be aimed at Earth in months. That's the forecasting power of the 5.9 month cycle, and it is gearing up now. High possibility of more events coming in the coming days. Eyes open for aurora reaching mid-latitude when the geomagnetism peaks, and for those non-catastrophic but potentially disruptive electrical issues for the remainder of the week and potentially into next week as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Still family week here before the kids go back to school, going to enjoy it while we can. We'll be back before you know it, right here, but right now it's 8 a.m. in Houston, Texas. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.